Well, this was an interesting game to say the least. Ain't them. Hey, I'm me on Touch Point, and I'm gonna review Death Strain, the newest Hideo Kojima game that came out this year. Which I jump. Yep, like five pieces now. What you start? This game is very, 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 very weird and confusing. Com it, it, it's weird. Ain't them. What is that? What's the point? 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 Carrying the remains of, of our future is, is in his hands. He embarked on a journey to reunite the shattered world. Yep. Forming connections within the world and beyond the social strand system users in the new strand game genre. That'd be the part of that show. But he just embraced on recap the United States from the catastrophe and many the terrors on the destroyed this network and weird stuff happened, supernatural and what's going on in there. Happy to put show. Alright, now going to this game, as you well know, I'm going to see you at the Hideo Kojima fan. I love the Manga Star series. At least Manga Star 1, Manga Star 2, Manga Star 3, and Manga Star 4. 5 I thought was good, but yeah, as you can tell Hideo Kojima's hands were tied. They think they the could not in that bullshit. That game was sabotaged, and you can tell that game that never had a true ending. However, when Kojima left Konami, I was happy about that. Why? Yeah, can I F them all with the sound hell and all that crap again? What the hell can I F you can? You've ruined everything. So, why have you made your own studio, you made your own game? I didn't have it, I was very excited about it. Then the trailer came out for this game. And there were a lot more questions, a lot more questions, a lot more questions to point that I needed to know what the hell this game was about. So, after playing this game, what's my conclusion? This game was. Uh, uh, Okay, it's decent. Now here's the thing. It is actually a, a good at the game. Um, what's our game for a sec? Okay, game by wise, game by if you're not a fan of wine similar or, or going to one area to know with packages on your back, going to one case to know, uh, then yeah, you're gonna find the game really boring. Uh, it's not like a typical action game. No, this game is more about survival and more about actually um trying to reconnect a broken world. And from a survival aspect, it works. Kind of. The whole packaging my um after my being like killing packages of one doesn't do another. Okay, that could that that could see it get that could that that'd get boring. But I think it's kinda of worth it. Because in a way you're trying to navigate a post apocalyptic world with very few resources and try to avoid the an entity called BTs. What are BTs? Um it's kinda of complicated. BT are being a spectral like ghost thingies that attack you on site, and if you, and if you get a contact, uh, like, uh, see my name, then yeah, you're screwed. Right? But you, you're trying not to, to, to navigate through this profile the world, and beaches are very creepy, very, very messed up, and very insane. Uh, you have this bird baby with you, this baby, and you're like in your, not in your audio, but in this, like, uh, the jaw thing, and it's Actually, pretty fascinating. The world starts back now. Let's talk about Hideo Kojima. He's a master cousin of making world building. His world building is excellent, in my opinion. However, the game, game bit wise, it went all falls apart. It gets really, gets really boring getting a pair of. But it, it's your able to get back to the first 14 hours, I think. Yeah, 14 hours, you know, then I think I did a real treat. Speaking of game, what's the whole combat section, though? Um, like, but it's going one person there with vehicles. Okay. The whole driving section, in my opinion, actually, where the game gets a little finer, a little more e easier to navigate. And my opinion, main, vehicles are your best friend. Trust me, you think about vehicles, in my opinion, are one of the best things in this game. Because you get a, you get a bike, it's pretty awesome. You get, you, you have to see them, like, from a, like, um, some cargo trucks, pretty cool. You have to fight these, um, these weird guys, you know, not fighter, but more like, um, hoarders, basically, who want to attack a package because they think that it's, a drugs and yeah, like I said, this game is very weird, very confusing. But if, if you get past the first one, it does get better. Trust me. But the game is fine. It's it's not awful. It's decent. But if you're a fan of a game like me, you, this game this game is gonna be like, eh. It, it it's it's a quiet taste. I'm a huge you know, game fan, so I can't really tell. You know, game is fine.
Let's get a grab it. Okay, grab it. This game is very beautiful. Like, I, I'm, I, I'm gonna have to get me. Grab it. This game is perfect to look at. This game is beautiful. One of the beautiful games I've played all year. This game is gravity and awesome. Gravity, it looks amazing. 10 out of 10 perfect and A+. But look at the story itself. Alright, um. I didn't remember before. I didn't remember before. I'm a huge fan of Hideo Kojima. I love that his story. I love that his game. And I like to go back to his story time. So. Why, why I heard they're make a new project in the RT, I think, I think I'll be excited about it. However, though, I have some problem with this story. This story is very, 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 very weird. I'm very confusing. I don't know what the hell's going on. In order to figure out what the hell's going on, you have to look for the interview, the like, data tapes. We have to, have to get a lot more information on the floor itself. And the information I got is interesting all. It's very compelling. Very, very unique. But since I know... I felt lost. I don't know what was going on. What the hell was happening? You, you just other guy who quit basically the soldier dude who played like Matt, um, Mike, Mike, Murkison, but he's actually my man. Yeah, Gilmore the Troll, but yeah, Dead Man's pretty cool. Yeah, Gilmore the Troll, that's an awesome in my opinion in this game. He's pretty cool. Um, we have Plagio, who's pretty awesome. We have this terrorist guy named Higgs, which Higgs in my opinion is a very interesting talent. I like this guy. He's pretty awesome. He's bad, but he's very, very creepy. And when you first meet him, See, God, this guy is gonna be a psychopath and insane. I mean, holy shit, this guy's going nuts. But a very cool boss and boss fight. Explain to fan Metal Gear Solid because I won't get too much spoiler, but they said it is a Metal Gear Solid fan in this game, and that's pretty awesome. And that, that I don't want my video part in this game, all the Easter eggs. Speaking of uh, the story, so look at the, the uh, our activists here. Um, uh, the actor with the main character, uh, Sam Bridges. Um, yeah, normally, normally, I think he, he played a, a good Sam, he could play a good Sam Blade. Yeah, she's never a fair actor, but you know, I think he did a good job. But like, graphically, it looks like the guy played like perfection, and graphically, can make, like, all the actors that might be in the in action job, the boy the actors great already, the, um, going to the great already, all the boys in the action might be in the boy had actions. It's just my problem with the story, the story itself is way too confusing, it's way out there, and I felt lost. And I, even this game, I felt confused, very good, wait. Like, Sam Bridges and, and the Sword of the Isle of somewhere, but then you have Amelie, the other character, who is something. It's hard to have too much spoil. I don't want to do it to you guys. If you're not playing the game, it's the story, so. Oh boy, you'll be lost if you're not paying attention. If you want to get you have to pay attention to the other story itself. Because if you don't pay attention, you'll be extremely lost. Trust me, you'll thank me later. But, I mean, oh, Boy, this is one of those games that you, know, you have to pay them the detail or to get lost. Um, how much time I'm doing spoiled? That's for combat. Okay. Combat in this game, I mean, I think it's, it's good, it's fine. The guns are my being they work it over, the guns are fine. Driving is fine. But, trying to face human enemies? Yeah. What's the problem with that? You can't kill them. If you kill them, that's a bad idea. Trust me, gentlemen, I'm putting in I tried killing these guys, and yeah, that's a bad idea, my man. Because right now we have to avoid it, and yeah, that's instant game over. Oops. Yeah, that, 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 that's my problem with this game. The game itself, the gameplay is fine, but it's not easy to go to a point A, to point B, to point A, to point B, to point A. It gets better, it gets boring. But despite the gameplay, the gameplay is fine, the story is interesting, graphic game is made, but if you're looking for an like, action game, yeah, yeah, you're not gonna find here. You're talking about a compelling story? I should check this one out. Um, I have a point, point for me, it's buying a pattern, but you get used to it. Cargo, I think, but I'm uh, gonna read the cargo, it's pretty cool, though, but that's gonna get boring. But yeah, like I said, the gameplay is not fine, it's just the story is side built confusion loss. May, 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 may if I'm more to the plot, I'll, I'll have to make a spoiler, spoiler discussion on, on the story itself, but to say, Oh boy, this story was weird and very out there, very trippy, but also very interesting. I don't want to get too much spoiler to say, damn, this is just dark. I mean, dark, I mean, it's really insane, really crazy. Um, I'm gonna just spoil it. I think it's better to get too much spoiler. Alright, um, with all that said, what did I give, um, Death Stranding? Um, if you're a Hideo Kojima fan, I say check this game out. If you're a fan of Hideo Kojima, me, I say my check this one out. Don't really buy it. Um, about 
that. This one is getting in my opinion. If you're not a fan of a Dale Kojima, you're not a fan of a story, you're not a fan of the writing, then yeah, you're gonna be, you're not gonna be like this game. This game won't give you more divisive games that came after. This is one of the divisive games that came out this year. But to say, oh boy, you're not a fan of Dale Kojima, you're not gonna like this game at all. But it's a, it's a fan of the other game, you take the slow burn approach. You, you enjoy it for what it is. Is it my favorite game all year? Uh, no, it's not. My favorite game that came out this year by Del Kai or, or like, um, Astro Chain, or five of them. I do look at Outworld. I don't know if also knew what buy that game, so maybe I'll get that game in the Hanukkah. But, I think this game might be pretty good. Oh, what the sound of my reading? Alright, um, with all that said, what's that good Death Strain? I just need to number three. Three out of five stars. Is it perfect? No. Is it good? Yes. Is it one of my favorite games I put all year? Um, it's good. The boss battle might be awesome. Oh, I forget the, the boss battle might be pretty, pretty, pretty bad after I mean. I like the boss battle. Boss battle are made pretty awesome and insane. But boss battle are made in. I don't remember if people want to tell you the boss battle are made in. But other than that, this game was a okay, like, decent, um, new game of Dale Kojima. Not my favorite is Dale Kojima game, but you know what? It's a good game. I highly recommend it. Is it my favorite? No. But you know what? It's a good, good new IP. And I'm hoping for the next Dale Kojima game because I love Dale Kojima and I do want to make new games because Dale Kojima is very awesome and badass. But that's just my opinion. Oh, but it sounds like pretty good. Uh, uh, it sounds, sounds like pretty awesome. But that's my opinion. There we go. What time is this? Wait, wait, wait. Don't wait for it on Death Stranding, the new Hideo Kojima game. Um, pretty up. Comment number two, you about this game? Do I get to it? Also, how do you read the um, um, Death Stranding and what's the favorite Hideo Kojima game you made since, um, since 1990? Yeah, since my Mugger Sword won all, all the way at the present day. Please don't comment below. Also, I can make my on Twitter. Please don't subscribe to my channel for a trip to start. Please get back on you. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm sorry. Please like if you can. I'll talk about it. Oh, one more thing. The are like four football breaks, you know, like, like, like you did with Mugger Sword. It's pretty cool. The four football breaks are awesome. But if you're not a Hideo you know, Kojima fan, you're going to be pretty happy to watch when that happens. But if you're all fan of Hideo Kojima, then you're going to the football play that I did. But that's my opinion. And you know, I'm going to give you a Death Stranding. It's pretty, 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 pretty possible. I'm pretty not coming to you about this game. Do like it today. Also, I'm going to put it on Twitter. Please don't subscribe to my channel. Put it on Twitter. 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 Bye, that's Jane. See ya. Bye.